Hey everybody, this is Anna with um, OneCraftyAnnie.blogspot.com and yeah, I was going to do an introduction video from face to face. I'm always in a hurry and I never get to have time to really take the time, turn it around, face it, make sure everything's set up. Anyways, it ain't perfect and the lighting ain't the best in here, but I'll do a quick, I did a haul today for, um, I went, ran, I've been sick all weekend or Saturday and Sunday and been in bed all day so I'm feeling a little better today so I needed some retail therapy so I went to Hobby Lobby and Michaels that always helps anyways alright I will start off showing you what I got today just a few things but little by little I'm building up you know so anyways I got the ink blending tool the Ranger ink blending tool and I was excited because I'm excited to be able to blend I haven't really even started did all the blending and all that so I'm excited to be able to do all that I saw a lot of videos on that I mean I just got and that was it I got that at Michaels I got the this is a cheap ink on clearance I was just going to try a few things with some stuff and I don't know if this is showing very well the lighting ain't great and I got, oh, I'm sorry, wrong thing. <laughs> I got um, a one inch circle punch. And this is for actually not just scrapbooking. I do hair bows too, some. And so I bought the bottle caps. And I've ordered off eBay a bunch of the, um, the images to put on them. And it takes the one inch to punch them out, the one inch to punch. And then I got the, um, epoxy sticker deals to put on top of the punch out, you know, to finish it. I got all that today to um, add down to my hair bows, which that's exciting. I've got, I finally got the craft tweezers that, you know, you can pick up little deals because of my Cricut. I'm always trying to hold it with my finger and do it, and this one looked really cool. It's Fisker's brand, and it was $4.99, and I used my 25% off on it, which wasn't that much, but it helped. And you stick your finger through it and do it. So, anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. And I got this little um, Recollections Perforated Edge tool. And the reason I got this is because I watched a video of a lady, and I cannot remember which channel, but she used this and did it in ink and made. It looked like she had a stitch, and it looked like she had really just stitched it. And it was so fast and easy because I hate getting out my sewing machine every time if I want to add a stitch to a card or something. This was perfect, and so I'm really, really excited to use that. And for my big item this week, because at Michael's all their stuff and um, storage stuff was 40% off, so I got the carousel thing, storage deal. I've been needing one really bad, and I got it, and I ended up paying like $23.99 with 40 percent off, so I was excited about that, and I think that that is all. Oh, there's one thing here, I guess. I got, at Michael's, they had the um, Recollections Mulberry Paper Flowers, and it was 24 piece for $3.49, regular $9.99. Anyway, and they were neat. I like the texture. They were different than the other ones I had. And they have the big ones and the littler ones and along the edge, outside edge. I thought that was pretty cool. Anyways, well, I just wanted to do kind of an introduction video face to face. My camera's not that good. I need a flip camera. That's why I really have it because my regular, I have a Nikon I'm using right now for it. Just my regular camera. So, hopefully I can get me a better quality one. But anyways, well, I guess I will see y'all in the next video and enjoying watching y'all and thanks for the all the nice comments and everything, all the time, ways y'all been helping me in the comments. Sorry, I'm kind of talking through my nose, but <laughs> hopefully I'll be all the way over this here in a couple of days. Anyways, thank y'all so much and I guess I'll see y'all next time.